So my dear viewers, welcome to the video. Now we are on the beach in Algarve. It's uh, just after sunset. So we have the best lighting we can get. A little bit of panda eyes. Yeah, gotta get the early nights in. Yeah, like before 9 p.m. That's very crucial to not have panda eyes. And what else? Yeah, the cycling. Cycling has, going, has been going well this week. So I got in like 350K and a few, uh, several mountains, so at least 500 meters to 1,000 meters, depends what I'm doing. And uh, for, for those who know people and cultures, so where am I from? Can you see? What country am I from? Yeah, we have seen those in the Philippines, flip-flops with the socks, and we have to when, uh, go up to the people and tell them, dude, you must be from this country. And they're like, no, I'm from the Philippines. No, you're from this country. Because you have the flip-flops and the socks and the white socks. What country am I talking about? So you get it, you have a guess. So now we have the best lighting out here. And uh, I've, been, I've been doing the protocols with the potatoes. So I just boil the potatoes and then I put them in the oven. And it's just, just great if it's a meal that fills you up. A little bit of salt, a little bit of spices uh, underneath the potato, so it sticks. Yeah, you, you cut the potato in half, then you put it on the on the metal sheet, and then tack it goes into the oven. That's really tasty. So that's basically what I've been eating, and I don't know the weight. The weight is kind of stable now. I, I don't. I think the most important is the home hormones. You know, if you if your hormone hormones are like balanced, like like good, like you feed them with sugar and, and the minerals and, and stuff like that, then it's going great. And otherwise, like you, you just get stuck. And uh, it's a hard work. It's also hard work losing weight. Yeah, I, I try to do it. I try to do my, I'm not doing my absolute best, you know, I could do the 200K a day, but I got, I got work to do. So I just, I'm kind of taking the slow path. But at least uh, last year, 2023, I managed to lose 15 kg. So what is going to be this year? Am I going to lose another 15 kg? Or am I going to lose another 20 or 30 kg? I don't know. I hope it's going to be more than 15 kg. But because uh, last year I managed to cycle 11 k, 11 km, so 11,000 kilometers. Uh, that's kind of my record because uh, years before I managed to do max 5k so now it's it's up to 11k and now this year I'm going strong I already have a, a thousand K almost this year uh, and what we have like 22 days 21 days this year so it's, it's going good and I hope I can uh, keep it up and, uh, and manage to break my record and go over the 11k for this year so last year uh, I went to Algarve too and I cycled a lot in the first three months and then I went up to Portugal in the north then I managed to cycle also a lot and then I left for the Philippines and there I slacked a little bit because of the heat and, and the distractions like the, the discovering and the people and the going to the mall and being sick and, and being heat exhausted so the Philippines is really an experience. You, you gotta try if you wanna if you wanna get up to the next level because you know like cycling here it's, it's fun, it's great, it's not hot, it's convenient, it's easy in Europe. But Philippines, like the streets are great, but like the weather this is gonna just gonna kill you. It's gonna it's, there you 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 know what it means to hydrate well and to be carved up there because if you don't like like nature just the sun is just gonna take you out like this and, and that what happened to us it took us out a few times even though we try to hydrate as much as possible but it, it's like it's too much you know so if you really want to train like be be resilient resilience training Philippines, Thailand. Thailand is also good. I went to Thailand, but uh, not that, that long. And uh, weather is kind of nice. It's a, it's a few degrees higher, so it's not 
that hot is like two degrees less but this this year it was really hot in the Philippines uh, so I managed to cut the video out so I, I was saying it was really great I enjoyed it a lot and and especially people are great and uh, I also met a guy that was doing the Filipino loop and this guy was like like a monster you know but he was covered up he was like in the winter here where you have all the gear he covered nothing like a, like a Muslim woman but who was a man and was not a Muslim and you got to cover up you know because the Sun is just gonna take you out in, a, in no time and and here you get it like for two months and it's not even that hot you know and you get water well you get water everywhere in the Philippines it's very easy uh, to get water but to learn to hydrate properly you know um, dehydration is a big big uh, like issue when you want to be at your best performance so performance wise yeah I can do like 300 watts for 15 minutes so it's it's kind of nice to go up the mountains but I'm so heavy you know 100 kg still so everybody I, I meet on the <laughs> on the climbs like they smoke me you know the only ones that I smoke are like uh, yeah, really old guys a little bit fat uh, but all the the newbie uh, the the strong guys you know and I come here and train and that's great because I I go up the mountain I see them and uh, it gets me motivated to to be you know more powerful on the bike so I think the power is kind of good yeah it's a mental thing you know the power power on the bike is a mental thing when you when you have the pain in the legs you just gotta keep on going you know but then you're like ah it hurts so much I got I just gotta stop and that's where you have to push a little bit more and it's 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 hard it's hard I got I granted it's hard but it's um, that's that's like the the thing you gotta try to push you know it's a challenge I want to I, I don't have all the words you know because this is not my mother tongue uh, English uh, guess what's my mother tongue in uh, listening to my English what is it you have a guess so thank for watching I hope you enjoy those uh, this format uh, at night time and uh, like like dusk this is dusk from dusk till dawn thank you for watching see you next time